Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So as many of you may have seen either on the Yuzu official discord or in some teaser images I posted on my own Twitter, even though Pokemon Let's Go doesn't release for absolutely everybody in the world until tomorrow the 16th of November, it has already released in several countries around the world, for example in some parts of Asia and also in Australia. Now that it has broken street date and is released to the public, some of the developers of Yuzu Emulator in these regions now have access to the game. As I already mentioned, there have been some teaser images of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee booting in Yuzu Emulator, but in this video I'm just going to clear up absolutely every single bit of information about its actual bootability and playability on the emulator right now, just so there is absolutely no misinformation floating around out there in the Switch emulation community. First of all, let's take a look at some of the screenshots that we have been shown by Ognik, one of the developers of Yuzu, this Nintendo Switch emulator. The very first image we were shown was this splash screen Pokemon image and in the title bar you can indeed see that it is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. The next screenshot we were shown was this one of the title menu of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. You can see the performance wise it's running at 15 frames per second but I am told that it does run faster than this. Next up we were shown this character and naming selection screen in which we are running at around 52 frames per second and the final and to be honest much more exciting image we have been shown is actual in-game gameplay where we're running at around 26 frames per second or 43% game speed. Ognik's system specs are as follows, he is running an i7 4790K, he's running 24GB of DDR3 1600MHz RAM and he also has a GTX 1080 in his system. Now, while he is getting fairly decent performance, especially on his semi-modern CPU, if you have a more modern one than it with a higher core clock, you could technically expect better performance in this game than he is currently seeing. Now while yes, he technically has the game booting and running in this emulator, we have also been told that it is only made possible by the use of basically hacking it into gameplay, which is in itself basically a broken method of getting a game working. The game itself isn't even completely working, there are lots of issues with controller input, there are issues with performance, and using the hack that has made this game go in gameplay has apparently completely broken all of the audio rendering in Yuzu Emulator. For these reasons, it is in no way, at least at this point in time, ready to go out and go into any kind of nightly or canary builds for us to use. Hopefully once it goes into full release and more of Yuzu's developers can get their hands on their own game dumps, they will be able to make even more progress than we have already seen. As I always do guys, as soon as there are any changes in any of these major games, I will keep you guys as up to date as possible. I will also leave links down in the description to the Yuzu Patreon if you guys want to help to support it, I'll leave a link to their Discord server if you need to ask any additional questions, and I will also leave a link to my own personal Discord server if you have any questions about any emulators I cover on the channel, do not be afraid to join and ask anything you could possibly want. Once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.